Hi, Tenfold. It's Kinegwe from Phosphorus. Um, I have this question that has been a struggle for me. Yeah, can you please help me? And also, I'd like to send a shout out to my schoolmates from Clapham. Yay! We passed in this year with flying colors. Thank you. Bye. Okay, I love this question because I see circle geometry and I do a little happy dance because circles make me really happy. But some of you don't love circle geometry and you don't love it when similarity and proportion come into play with circles. So I'm here to help you with that. Let's check this question out. It says, in circle O, very important. It means that O is the center of the circle. Very important. AB is perpendicular to AC. That's this perpendicular sign over here. Okay, so the only information we're given is that these two are perpendicular and also it's indicated on the diagram that these two lengths are equal here. Okay, so before we get into the question, very important to note the center of the circle because the moment you do, you have radii coming off of that center, which are very important. Also, the moment you see a line coming through the center of a circle to a chord, there are going to be relationships especially if it bisects the chord, because remember, line through a center of the circle to a chord and bisects the chord automatically means that there's a perpendicular relationship there. Euclidean geometry theorems. Okay. Firstly, it says prove that triangle ABC is similar to triangle DBO. Okay. So, obviously we have no indication of side lengths which means that we can't use sides in proportion. So we need to use angles. So in triangle ABC and triangle DBO, okay, you're setting the stage for your similarity proof. Well, we already know that, tri that angle A is equal to angle D, but we need to prove why angle D is 90 degrees, okay? So angle O, D, B is 90 degrees. Why? Because line from center bisecting a chord is perpendicular to the chord. Okay, so we've established that 90 degrees. Therefore, angle A is equal to angle ODB. Okay, so that's our first angle relationship in our similarity proof. Secondly, we're proving that this big triangle here is similar to the little triangle. We can automatically see that angle B is common, is common to both triangles. And lastly, the remaining angle where well, we've done A and we've done B. So angle A, C, B, angle A, C, B, is equal to angle D O B Y remaining angle in the triangle. Therefore, triangle A B C is similar to triangle D B O. Remember, if you're going to claim similarity, you must have a reason. Angle, angle, angle. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Secondly, it says prove that OB multiplied by AB is equal to CB multiplied by CD. Okay, the moment you see this kind of format, they're looking for you to try and convert it to ratios because remember we just proved that triangle ABC is similar to triangle ABC would be DBO. Okay, remember we established this is 90 degrees. Okay, so you're going to have a bunch of ratios that are established by this similarity. So the moment you have it in this kind of format, they're looking to see if you can cross multiply or cross divide to get into a ratio format. So let's look at the sides we're working with. OB is this short side here. So it's obviously going to be in triangle two. It's going to be in this little triangle here. Multiplied by AB, which is this long side here. So obviously in triangle one. Then this next side, CB, is also in the big triangle. It's this whole length here. And CD is this length here. 
okay, this length CD does not feature in any of these triangles. We don't have two vertices CD to join, okay? So how do we relate CD to a length in these triangles? Well, remember, CD is given to us as being equal to DB. So if we can find a ratio that involves DB, we can simply interchange it with CD, okay? So if we try and write this in a ratio format, we're going to have OB, which we said was part of the little triangle, over CD, which would also be part of the little triangle because it's equal to DB. So we have DB there. Okay, so in establishing our ratio, we have OB over DB. So we need to follow the same arcs. Okay, so that means it's equal to BC over AB. Okay, and look, that is basically just this expressed as ratios. Now that we've got because of similarity. But remember, length CD is equal to length DB. So this over here, CD is equal to DB. Why? It was given to us. So because we've got these ratios, we've got these ratios from our similarity, we can rewrite them, we can substitute CD in there, okay? So we've got OB over CD is equal to BC over AB. Now, if we multiply these out, we cross multiply, we get OB multiplied by AB is equal to BC multiplied by CD. And if that is not what we had to prove at the beginning, then I don't know what. We have OB over here multiplied by AB, which is perfect, is equal to BC or CB, which is that length there, multiplied by CD. Perfect, perfect proof. Okay, so when you get a question like this, guys, immediately, the moment you're given a circle, look for the center. Find relationships established by that center. Remember, if you have a line going through that center and it subtends an angle on the circumference, immediately 90 degrees.